Hi, this is Jan with Thimbles For You. Today I'm doing a little video for y'all about um, techniques for doing quilting uh, by hand. And so we're gonna kind of focus in on my fingers and on my hoop that has the a little sample piece in it, but this will be done by you on a, on a larger piece, whether it's in a hoop or in your lap or on a big frame, it doesn't really matter. This is the rocking technique that a lot of people use. So for the rocking technique, you really do need a thimble. You've got to have something to protect the end of your finger because the main part of the technique is that you put your thimble right on the top of the needle, push it through to the back, and then tip it over. And push, push, push. And your stitches can be as long or as short as you want. If they get a little bit too long, you just back it up. You're poking your underneath finger just a little bit, and I can show you on another video how to do that lower finger so that it will go better. But what you're doing mostly is squeezing between that center finger and the thumb, and you use your finger, your index finger, to guide and to pull it back up. So most of the pulling is not done. Um, most of the pushing with the thimble is not done with the index finger. It's done with the uh, middle finger. Those of you who quilt know that the first stitch, you always have to pull your knot into the back. And so we pull just a little bit here till that knot disappears. Pull it into the back, there we go. And then that's all gone. And then you line up your next, next stitch. You can hold it there for, to get that first one in the right spot. And then again, we're back to tipping it over pushing toward your thumb, tip it over, push toward your thumb, tip it over, push toward your thumb, and pull with your index finger to get your needle back out. A lot of people use a much shorter, um, smaller, more bendable needle. This is not the little in-betweens that a lot of you use. I like a little bit larger needle. I'm not um, actually doing a quilt right now. I'm just kind of trying to demonstrate the method. You can see my stitches are not perfectly even and they're not all in a straight line by any means. I like to turn corners and go crazy directions with my stitching. And those of you who have um, different mechanics on your fingers, the fingers are longer or shorter than mine, will find that um, you'll use a little different technique. There are people who use their ring finger um, to push with. And you can see on this thimble, I've, it has a nice quilt rim at the top. That's, this one has a small quilt rim. It's really comfortable because it's got a little bit of width where my fingernail can come through. It doesn't bump up onto my uh, cuticle on either side, so that's really comfortable for me. And when you're only pushing with the end for doing the, the big hand quilting um, pieces, then you don't need that. 